Bingo for refueling in Venezuela. A toy drum begins to rotate with 10 spheres marked from 0 to 9, thus defining the day's scheme to fill up with gasoline in the face of a new wave of shortages in Venezuela. The lottery was launched last by the governor of the state of Merida, the pro-government Jason Guzman, who daily assigns gas stations to vehicles according to the terminal of their license plate number. This measure has revived old ghosts for Venezuelans, which are long lines to refuel their vehicles, which can last for days. This sort of lottery is transmitted by the Instagram account of the municipal authority, serving as a sort of guide to inform drivers. In addition, the lottery is broadcast live on the radio, as each station in the state is reviewed daily, assigning numbers to each one. When the 10 spheres are exhausted, they are reintroduced into the drum to continue the bingo. This fuel shortage is not new, but the method of distribution is. Venezuela has suffered fuel shortages for more than a decade. Exacerbated by smuggling to neighboring Colombia and Brazil, coupled with large subsidies, which made gasoline very cheap. For example, an egg in a supermarket cost the equivalent of 90 million liters of gasoline in 2019. And no, this is not a mistake. The rates were dollarized in 2020, fixed at 50 cents of a dollar per liter, although stations with subsidized fuel are maintained. After months of improvements in the supply, shortages are once again gaining ground in the province. Since Caracas, the capital, is favored with a better distribution. In this context, what fuels a black market in which gasoline is sold for over a dollar a liter? Addition, it should be noted that Amway and Cardon, Venezuela's main refineries, have had stoppages. Due to technical difficulties in the last few days, according to oil unionists, which has worsened the situation. On the other hand, state-owned PDBSA has not reported any problems.